Hi, I'm Sine Inc. and this is haul video. Uh, and I'm doing this a little different because this haul is quite small, so I'm just opening these packages. And if you hear some weird noises, it's because I'm sitting on the floor and my bunny is here. Ooh. Well, here we have first three Schminge aquarels. These are all the new gloves. Uh, this brown one is spinel brown. The blue one is uh, Taylor Sapphire. And this last one is Quintangune Purple. Hey, my bunny is eating the box. And then we have Nick. Uh, two, uh, three tip and nips, and these all have uh, painted tips, so they are a little bit smoother on the paper. Uh, because I happened to destroy it, my last nip, I forget to clean it after I used uh, acrylic ink, so it got really ruined. Hey, bunny boom, bunny bunny. Mm, then we have wash. Uh, let's start with this one. I I really want to try quas, but I wasn't sure when I try normal quas or acrylic quas, so I already this uh, Sinhan Pass Designers color, which is like hybrid between quas and watercolor, and of course I ordered this brightest green they have. <laughs> okay, I have Turner quasses, I have bigger set. Uh, there I already uh, coral red, lime lemon, and color perline. Coral red? No, I'm not sure. Did I order that one? I have to check this out because I think I, was, I ordered different color because I hate pink. Then I ordered some. Water color ground. Oh, I sliced the ticket. Golden core water color ground. Uh, because you can't use. Mm. Oh, this is quite runny. Uh, because you can't use. Uh, Watercolors on normal canvases, and I have a couple of canvases because I sometimes paint with all colors and acrylic. So I decided that I order a watercolor ground so I can do bigger watercolors and use some of my canvases. Next, we have hmm, something. Let's start with this one. These are much easier to open. about the right color. Here we have uh, another nip, which is this, uh, is this copying nip, what is called, which is really flexible. Uh, because this dip and nips doesn't last long, because I use them on watercolor paper now, so watercolor paper eats like, eats them. Oh. Here we have a pastel color, and it's pastel shan, shan, shan pastel lime. Because I like green. I want everything to be green. <laughs> then I already Johnny Brilliant number one, which is my skin color I often use. Then we have permanent yellow green, really surprising. And then luminous green, which is this neon color. And on the next. Oh! Here is, these bottles are huge, uh, these are acrylic quas by Victor van Aave, I'm not sure what this company is, oh, I can't find it here, something, uh, these are really basic quality because acrylic quas isn't my main medium, uh, this is um, yellow fluorescent, and then I already let, uh, 
blue fluorescent because you can mix these and make green. And I just like try these because these are really cheap and these are like huge bottles. These are like 35 milliliter. Hey, my bun. Don't eat it. Hey, don't eat it. It's not yours. My bunny is trying to eat watercolors. Hey. Then we have uh, Dr. P.H. Martin Consulate Watercolor in ice cream, which look at li like lily green. And I like green, and I have been considering to buying this, so I uh, think I'm maybe buy the whole set if I like this. If I don't like it, then I just keep this green one. Then I read a uh, glass rubber bottle because uh, sometimes uh, I, I used to spray my watercolors but when I'm spraying them with like you know, bother to prime them it's really annoying to get because the spray often spreads the color and I find that my core colors like to well invasive to other colors. Then I have a Taylo green going and Taylo blue going everywhere that where they shouldn't be. And here we have uh, mediums. I you see that I have more gold acrylic quasses coming, and they were like the main thing I ordered in this order. I would really want, I wanted to really try the whole paint ones, but they sections are pretty certain, and they seem like impossible to find in Europe, so I did have to try the turner ones. Uh, I ordered the retarder, which uh, slows the drying time and this is like medium that is made for this I really like use medium ones when I'm using oil colors or like acrylic colors or anything because I find that they really help me to paint and achieve certain effects I also use mediums when I buy water colors like I really like to use oxcal yeah we have gloss varnish uh, because these dry matte and I think that I sometimes want to picture a bit glossy like I maybe use this looks really milky mm. okay oh, that looks weird but, but anyway because the matte uh, matte surface is must, must, much easier to like photograph so I think that will be Nice thing. Uh, and if I use gloss warning, it will look much more like finished. And the, because I know that gouache uh, surface can be a little fragile. Then I read the wood primer because I think I want to paint on wood. And because they had wood, wood pri primer, I think that would be really handy. Hmm. These have really quite, uh, good instructions on the back. I really like that. And then we have something. Oh, this is huge! <laughs> it's, that's a fun part when you order something online and you look the picture and oh, it's tiny, tiny. And then with order, then when the other games is like this huge. Oh, oh my, this is huge. This is the larger oven. Other wrap. Smart acrylic gouache. Turner color works. Hmm. And it's the same in Katakana. And there's a lot of text in Japanese. Actually, I can read Japanese, uh, Hiragana and Katakana and like hundreds or so kanji, but my Japan is so rough that I won't read it a lot. Oh, this is front side? Uh, no, this is right side up. And this is the outside I ordered it. Because I figured out I want to this palette. And then here is like... Brochures. How you can use them in Japanese. But hey, that's... <laughs> it's really... Yeah, I really have to practice my Japanese again so I can read these. Here we have two 
tubes of white. They are larger tubes because I think with these colors you will always run out of white. Then we have what is this? Palette cleaner. Oh, it's made of clean palettes. I think these yeah, plastic bags, these acrylic kind of colors sometimes really stick. Here is jet black, burnt sienna, violet, cobalt blue hue, sky blue, uh, permanent scarlet, permanent red, permanent yellow deep, uh, permanent lemon, permanent green light, permanent green mirror. Now I have a feeling that I have a duplicate here. This permanent green light seems color that I would order by itself. No, I don't have <laughs> That's great. And here is brushes. Oh, there is also a ruler. Very handy, actually. And there is... Oh, this is so soft. There's nice cloth and like more basic for paints. And there is brushes that came with this set. No, am I in frame? Almost. Ooh. This seems really interesting. They are like... Oh, these are like... They have this sizing. This seems, seems really nice. I'm not trying to put that back on because... It will ruin the brushes. And two flats. These have plastic uh, handles, which is... Quite good because I usually leave my acrylic brushes in the water so they don't go bad because acrylic acrylic based, based paints can be really hard for your brushes. Then we have wooden box. Also this seems much much bigger than I expected. Well I have to find use for this. Yeah, this is like uh, like four times bigger than I think, thought it would be because I think that would be great for storing uh, handmade watercolor paints that I have ordered from EU Vault. I will leave the link in the description for his Etsy shop. But oh, this is really large. Well, I have the patches. <laughs> I think I just had to buy more watercolors. But this is really nice box. Uh, uh, anyway, this was really cheap and this is like really. Uh, thick food. I can really st story. And next one. And I think this is the other gouache set. Yes, I only two gouache set. Gouache set because this other one was really cheap and this has like uh, Japanese square colors. These are more like music ones. And I think it was. I don't have that other new mediums. Oh, and here's a pack of brushes. Uh, these are Royal and Langwigen brushes. Soft grips. I really like using these because this is like... Uh, these are not the best, best quality, but they are like decent quality. They are Great for acrylic colors, and they have this squishy squishy things that you can hold. And yeah, I really like this. Here we go. These are two smaller ones one flat, one shader, and. Oh, I will have to show you. Here's my bunny. Mm. Oh, he's so cute. I really wonder how like, <laughs> usually he's just trying to eat all the things I get or eating all the cardboard. But yeah, these are Japanese girl color from Turner. Uh, all these acrylics that I that's that that I that I ordered are from Turner's. More Japanese. Hisashi Tenmyo. More Japanese. Hmm. And here are the colors. Uh, this way up. 
these are hmm. this read only in Japanese ah Japan white gum blue black hmm. deep yellow scarlet strawberry red doesn't look like strawberry to me. It's more like uh, mulberry. Yellow brown. Grayish brown. Ooh, lovely green. Green light. Deep green. Uh, light blue. Deep blue. This looks like same. Uh, violet. And. Uh, here in the front, it's only read in Japanese. Very nice. And I like how this, uh, these tubes are a little bit smaller. Uh, they are 11 milliliters deep. And these bigger ones are 20 milliliters, I think. Maybe. <laughs> I don't see any other markings. Oh, here are the uh, light fashion ratings, ratings too. Well, I think these are... Ah, oh, here it says 20 mil. And this uh, Turner, Aqu uh, Turner Aquiliquas, these were quite affordable, they didn't cost that much. So that's why I like many of them. And ooh, then we have something really, really nice that I have been wanting for a long time. It is Arches Aquarelle Watercolor Hot Press. I have tried Moulin Rouge Hot Press and Somebody is eating my box. <coughs> bun bun. Bun bun. Mm -mm. I have been trying Moldin de Rouge and this is... I hope this is better because I didn't like the Moldin de Rouge. It was too hard sized. And that was my haul on this time. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you in my next video that hopefully isn't whole video because I have made too many of these. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next video. Bye!